Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I look like this because we started off the day a little late. Josh actually woke up at 10 to be with Gemma and he let me sleep an extra hour, which was nice. And I'm really sad because today's my last day of my weekend. So I work for the next five days, but we had a really good couple days and we're gonna have another great day today. But it did kind of start off on like a bad note. If you've been watching our previous videos, you know that we've had issues with our AC working. And today, for the third time, we had somebody come out and try to help us fix it. Initially, we thought it was a problem with the thermostat. Nest sent us a new thermostat. Then we thought it was something wrong with the actual AC unit itself. So they came out and fixed a couple parts in that. Well, today, the person who came back said that it's the thermostat again. So we're contacting Nest, we're getting it all figured out and it is what it is, but that's why it's already 1.30 and we haven't started filming because they've been at our house fixing it. So far this morning, we've just been hanging out. I was playing some games on my phone. <laughs> right now we're watching the last episode of the Imagineering Stories. I'm kind of sad that it's over because I'm enjoying watching it so much. So definitely, I know I already said this, but I would highly recommend it if you're interested in the history of Disney or in creative processes or you know the building of a theme park i think it's really really cool so we're finishing that up right now and we're making lunch we actually had a crazy breakthrough the other day we went to Publix yesterday to do some grocery shopping and one thing that we've really missed out on since being vegan is croutons for whatever reason we can't find vegan croutons at all everything has milk in them which is super weird because it's just like little cubes of bread right but i guess they you know put cheese and stuff in it commonly it's milk powder very common ingredient and so we were like just randomly yesterday when we were in Publix, i picked up a bag and i was like oh you want to bet it has milk in it and i turned it around and it didn't it was vegan I, we could have it which is exciting because i haven't had a crouton in five years and who doesn't love croutons they're so good so we bought those we also got a new fake chicken product. Clearly we are vegans that like to eat fake stuff. <laughs> Just cause, I don't know, it fits our palate and the food that we used to eat. And it's not the bulk of our diet. We just eat it every now and again for fun. So the company is called Corn. I think it's a UK brand, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. So of that brand, normally their stuff has like eggs in it and milk. Actually, I'm not sure about milk, but I know that they have had eggs in them before. And they've recently started coming out with a few vegan products. And one of the things we found yesterday at Publix was these little buffalo chicken dippers. And we're like, oh, that sounds fun. Clearly I love buffalo. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world, which is why I eat it all the time. So we got those yesterday and we're about to put them in the oven right now and we're gonna make salads. I just words cannot describe to you how excited I am to have croutons. So yesterday I made some ranch and we also got some like cheddar cheese um, shreds. And so we're gonna make the most unhealthy salads ever, but I am so excited because it's like, I don't know. Like, you know, when you go to, out to a restaurant and you get a salad, but it's like completely unhealthy. Like that's what I wanna make. So that's what we're making for lunch. And my plan is later on today, I wanna go to Sam's Club because we need paper towels and they're, that's like by far the cheapest place to get them. So that's our big goal for the day. Other than that, I think we're just gonna hang out. I don't think we have any other plans. So I will keep you updated on what's up. Alrighty, so the heat guy just left. Now I can talk a little bit louder. I was being really quiet earlier cause I was in our bedroom and I didn't wanna be loud while he was here. So I will show you the Buffalo Dippers. This is the, what the packaging looks like for the chicken substitute that we're putting on our salad. And we baked them and this is what they look like. They um, are covered in flax seeds, which I feel like is like really healthy. I don't know. Not that that's a bad thing. And they don't really taste very much like buffalo. We just tried one. So yesterday I made some buffalo sauce. So I think I'm gonna toss mine in it and I will show you the salads. So right now we just have the lettuce bases going. This is mine. It's the Italian blend from Publix. And then this is Josh's. It's just the regular classic blend from Publix. I will assemble all the ingredients and I'll show you what it looks like. Like I said, disclaimer, it is a very unhealthy salad and I realize that. I just want it because I know it's gonna taste good. So. That's the finished product. It's got some BioLife cheese shreds, some homemade ranch, some croutons, and some buffalo tossed corn buffalo chicken dippers. And there's Joshy's. He didn't put any buffalo on his chicken tenders. So we're gonna go finish watching the last Imagineering stories and enjoy our lunch and we'll see you afterwards. Alrighty, so we are on our way to Sam's Club. Hopefully it's not super crowded. It probably will be. Last time we went, it was very crowded. I feel like we spent the same time, same amount of time checking out as we did actually shopping in the store. Like it was a very long process. And then like a long line waiting to get out of the store so they can check our receipts. Hopefully it's not that bad. We need just like a couple like odd things like uh, dishwashing detergent, Ziploc bags, paper towels, nothing too exciting, but we will see what they have there, if there's anything that we're interested in and just kind of walk around. And we're not bringing the big camera in. I might get some footage on my phone, so we'll see 
what happens. But yeah, we will definitely do a haul when we get home. We will see you guys in store. This is the most uncomfortable chair in the history of uncomfortable chairs. I want to see your face when you sit down. It's really bad, isn't it? Oh, there's a metal bar right in the back. Yeah, not comfy. That's not good at all. I do want to sit down on this one because it looks like one of the movie theater chairs. Oh, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in the movies. Hold on. Does it? Oh, they have it turned off so you can't do it. Oh, but this is nice. We are um, testing out bath mats and um, I found the best way to test something out is to just stick your whole arm in it. It's very soft. I like it. It's only $4. No, that's a hand towel. These are not bath towels. That's a $14.98. Oh. Well, that's a lot more expensive. Huh. I was gonna get it if it was $4. We just got back from Sam's Club. I think we only got like 20 seconds of footage while we were actually in the store. Just cause once we got past like the fun items that we wanted to look at, AKA like the sheets and like the blankets and stuff. Then we actually like were actually shopping for our stuff and there wasn't much fun stuff to look at. But we ended up getting a lot of stuff actually. Nothing too like super exciting, just kind of stuff we needed. We'll show you guys what we got when we get home. Right now we are just at the gas station at Sam's Club um, because it's cheaper than the gas station across the street from us. So we're gonna get gas and go home and give Gemma some dinner. Hopefully she's not as bitey as she was this morning. This morning she was a angry little puppy. I think she was just excited to see us. So now Josh is gonna go get us some gas and we'll see you guys when we get home. We're back from Sam's Club. This is the stuff we got. I'm gonna do the frozen stuff first so that we can put it back in the freezer. So we were telling you guys the other day about our obsession with the Nashville hot chicken tenders. They sell this massive bag at Sam's Club of Gardein chicken tenders and they're vegan. And we were like, we can just toss them in buffalo sauce at home. And there are 22 servings in here. Granted, one serving is only two tenders and we probably normally eat like four each. So that was awesome. This will make a lot of food for us. The other frozen thing that we got was something that I've never had or tried before, but it's, six packages of vegetable chow mein and you can just cook it in the microwave. That sounds like something that'd be really fun to try. And I've been really craving like hibachi. So maybe this will like help satisfy my craving for that. So those are the two frozen food items that we got. So we're gonna finish up with the food that we got because most of the stuff that we got wasn't food. So we're gonna go on to drinks next. The first drinks are down below you. And we got these for Josh. Actually, I, we got them for both of us, but his favorite soda is Coke Zero. Um, so we got those for him. And then we got these for me. Diet Dr. Pepper is the best. It's amazing. I normally only drink it like when we go to gas stations and like get like bottles of soda. So I was really excited to get this. That made me really happy. It was like the price for 24 for 36. So it's basically like buy two, get one free if we were to get them at Publix or something like that. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. And that's it for the drinks that we got. So moving on to the rest of the food we got. Now, these are not very exciting but I cook with Hunt's tomatoes a lot, like just like regular diced tomatoes. So we got eight cans and I think it was only like four or five dollars. And I was like, that's insane. That's a really good deal. And then the other thing we got was Rotel uh, diced tomatoes. In a couple videos ago, we made that cheese sauce that we use these in. So I use that for the cheese sauce and also some, and I put them in my chili. Um, and I think I have one soup recipe that I use these for. And I remember in that video, I said, if you guys know what that dip is called, tell me in the comments. I was kind of conflicted between chili cheese dip and queso. Well, on the back of the container, it very clearly says, Rotel famous queso dip, two cans of Rotel and one package of Velveeta cheese. So it is queso dip, case closed. That's what it's called. Queso closed. Queso closed, that was such a good one. The next thing that we got is peanut butter. If you do not like Jif peanut butter, then GIF. we, it's not GIF, it's Jif. <laughs> if you don't like Jif peanut butter, then we can't be friends. This is the best peanut butter. Do you know why? Choosy moms choose GIF. Wait, it's Jif. <laughs> Choosy moms choose Jif. Uh, no, but in all seriousness, ooh, wow, this is not good. It's not good for you. But you know what? We just got some really healthy peanut butter from Earth Fair and it was disgusting. We didn't like it. So I will continue to eat this junk food for the rest of my life until the end of time because it is my favorite. Also, I think that one of these is gonna be for Gemma and one of these is gonna be for us because we have to bribe her to do things with peanut butter. Like when we give her a bath, the only thing that'll get her into the bath is peanut butter. Food, treats, nothing. She doesn't care, it has to be peanut butter. So then of course we have to dip the spoon continuously back into the jar after she's already licked it. So one of these is for her and one of these is for us. The last food item that we got is this variety snack pack of Skinny Pop. We got sweet and salty kettle, just regular like original, and then white cheddar. Really fun fact, all three of these are vegan. So this is for the white cheddar. You can clearly see on the side it says 
non-dairy cheddar flavor. That's amazing. And it has the little vegan symbol on it. We got this 36 pack of popcorn. And this is like a good snack for me to bring to work or for Josh to bring to work, so. That's awesome. I think that's it for food and drinks. And then the rest of the stuff is just like really boring. But we got these. These are my preferred dishwashing liquid packs. And they're so much cheaper than Walmart or Amazon. And we previously got them on Amazon. I also like that it comes in this container rather than the plastic like Ziploc style bag. Because when you're doing dishes and your hands are wet, let me tell you, it's impossible to open a little Ziploc bag. Your hands just slip right off and it's the most annoying thing ever. We also got this it's a two pack of quart and gallon ziploc bags also i'm very opinionated but the ziploc bags with a little plastic slider are the best ziploc bags fight me on that and then we got lots and lots and lots of paper towels you want to know why yeah let me come show you her pee pee dog herself she really likes to pee on the floor that's what we need these for she's just, she's a mess also i don't think i told you guys the story because we stopped the vlog yesterday before it happened but yesterday we gave her a bath after the vlog ended instead of like being super interested in the peanut butter which she still ate she didn't turn her nose up at she decided instead that she wanted to drink all the water out of the bathtub and we think she gained like three pounds between the start of the bath and the end of the bath her stomach was huge and then she peed probably like a half a cup every 10 minutes for the next several hours. So I think we went through two rolls of paper towels last night. Our dog is a pee pee dog and that's what we call her. Now we know in the future, we're not gonna fill up the bathtub. We're just gonna use the faucet and clean her with that because she cannot handle being around water. And if she is around it, she will drink all of it. It's insane. And then the last two things that we got, these are for Josh. It's just the fresh scent. He's actually never used this before. He normally uses Old Spice but the only one that they had is Swagger and he's used that one like 6,000 times. So he wanted something a little different. So that's what he got. And I got this. They have a 40 ounce pump and it's specifically for the winter. It's like a limited edition one. It's extra moisturizing, which I kind of need because in the winter, Florida actually gets dry and not humid and my skin doesn't know what to do, but they were all sold out. So I got this instead. I smelled all the smells and they smell really good. So that's the end of our Sam's Club haul. Now we're gonna have some dinner and I know that I showed you guys yesterday in our video the free sam- not free samples, but the free products that Vegan Essentials sent us. One of them is queso, and I thought that we should try it and compare it to the queso that I made a couple days ago. So I'm gonna make that right now, and we will let you guys know what we think of it when we try it. This is what we're making for dinner. Making this cashew queso spicy chipotle. It's what we got for free in our Vegan Essentials box yesterday. And I'm pretty sure all you have to do is heat it up in the microwave. It says you can do it in the in a saucepan or in the microwave. What do you think we should do, honey? I'm gonna do it in the microwave. Sounds fast and easy. It says warm for 30 seconds. And that's it. I'm gonna go microwave it and then we're gonna try it. Alrighty, this is what it looks like. I just microwaved it in one of these little bowls. And we each get a bowl. And we are gonna try it with ruffles. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Very acidic. It's not very cheesy. It's good. It, it is very good. Really good. But you're right, it does kind of taste very it tastes acidic. It's like lemon and chipotle. Yeah. It's a good sauce. I like my queso better. Yeah. But then again, it's my recipe and I really like it. So But yeah, I like this. It's it um is very chipotle forward. But it is nice that two pouches comes in here. We're gonna go eat our food. And we'll see you guys in a bit. So that queso, we as we ate it, it really grew on us and we decided we liked it more than we like initially let on in the clip of us trying it. So we would definitely recommend it if you're interested in vegan queso. It's definitely like very chipotle and like smoky forward, um, but it's super good. We actually both just added a little bit more nutritional yeast to ours just to like bring out that like nutty cheesy flavor and it turned out really good. And it was super delicious, but like we're still hungry. <laughs> So, Josh doesn't know, but I'm making biscuits and gravy. I'm just making like a white pepper gravy. We got some refrigerated biscuits. I'm gonna make the biscuits and gravy and we will see you after that. So, I'm done cooking. Don't mind the totally white trash plates. We already used them for something and didn't wanna get clean plates out. This is what the final product looks like. And Josh still doesn't know what I made. Right now he's watching the Celtics game, so I'm going to go surprise him with what I made for him. Did you make biscuits and gravy? Yeah. How dare you? What? It's my favorite thing. Oh, well, thank you so much. We didn't much. have any sausage, so I couldn't make a sausage gravy. You ready? Thank you so much. Alrighty, with that being said, we are going to enjoy the rest of the Celtics game, eat our biscuits and gravy, and I'm gonna get ready to go to work tomorrow. So, see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 11. We have to say goodbye to Gemma, she's tired. Good night, Gemma. I love you. Oh, she's so tired. <laughs>